Hello everyone! Now, you weren't expecting me, were you? Don't worry, Sydney will be back soon. I, on the other hand, am Alan. I'm Mr. Harry Britt. My channel is here. I make funny news videos, that kind of thing. But, today, we are swapping videos. So Sydney is on my channel, and I am here on Sydney's channel. And we're going to do the TMI tag. Basically, it's a long list of 50 questions that, that scratch a little deeper into the surface of the human being that's talking to the camera. Hopefully, get to learn a little bit of weirdness about me, and if you like it, you'll go and subscribe to my channel. <laughs> you can go and see the rest of the weirdness there. Number one, what are you wearing? Clothes, because if I wasn't, you would have clicked off this video immediately because it would be a horrific sight. Number two, have you ever been in love? Yes. Unfortunately, I've had my heart broken as well, but I think in the long run, it's better to love and lose than never love at all. Number three, ever had a terrible breakup? <laughs> That's an understatement. Yes, yes, I have. Number four, how tall are you? Well, at the moment, I'm stood on a box. I'm about two foot two. I'm actually a midget and I'm really close to the camera. Or I'm five foot ten. Number five, how much do you weigh? A lot. <laughs> a lot. A little bit less than I was at the start of the year though. You know, I'm on a little weight loss journey of my own, but nowhere near as impressive as Sydney's. She's she's amazing. Wow. Number six, any tattoos? Now, no, but for years now I've wanted to get a tattoo. My first tattoo dedicated to my father. I lost my father when I was young. Unfortunately he died when I was around about 17. So I want to get some Queen lyrics, which are These Are The Days Of Our Lives by Queen, on my right shin. I've known the lyrics I've wanted for years, but I've just never got round to it. Number seven, any piercings? Um, yeah, a few. Tongue, um, a couple up here which aren't currently in. I've got a piercing there, I've got the the bar. Tell you what, that's my favourite one, that one. Having said that, the tongue's quite useful. I also used to have the middle of my lip done, but that's not in anymore either. OTP. Now, I think I'm old, right? That's one true pairing. I don't know. Buffy the Vampire Slayer and me. No. In all honesty, I'm very much more of an Alison Hannigan kind of guy. <sighs> Give me a bit of willow. Number nine, favourite show. Now, when I was younger, it was Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Nowadays, I'd probably say Breaking Bad, because that show was fantastic. Game of Thrones, The Walking Dead. Number 10, favourite bands. Now, I'm very much a rocker, so I'd say Papa Roach, Disturbed, Ramstein, Five Finger Death Punch. But I do like a mix of the normal poppy stuff, so I do like a bit of Ed Sheeran as well. 11, something that you miss. Now, this sounds quite sappy, right? But I, I moved away from, like, Kent many 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 years ago right Kent is where I was born and raised that's where this accent come from Kent is south of England just in case you're American you don't, don't know that it's kind of south of London now what I truly miss is my mum's like sweet Thai chicken right she's still alive by the way don't worry right but every time I ask her for the recipe I, I never get it properly right and every time I go down I ask for Thai sweet chicken but it's Christmas and we just forget to make it. <laughs> Number 12, favourite song? Well, right now it's Judas by Fozzie. But that's only because it's only recently come out and it's stuck in my head. Otherwise it'd probably be something like End of Heartache by Killswitch Engage or... Pff, I don't know. Stairway to Heaven, Led Zeppelin. Number 13, how old are you? Now, I'm an old one. Yeah, I'm 32. I've been on YouTube for four years though, so if I say that I, I stay at the age of 28, right, that, that's, that's less weird, right? Number 14, what zodiac sign are you? Now, I'm a Scorpio. I'm pretty much a Scorpio in every way, shape or form. I love with a big heart and yeah, that's pretty much me in a nutshell. 15, the quality you look for in a partner. Honesty, openness, cuddliness right I, I, hmm. I'm a real hopeless romantic right I, I just want to find that lass that I can hold hands with and cuddle with you know be stupid with watch funny films with and not feel weird 16 favorite quote now this comes from a John Green book 
but I believe that was also a quote from somebody else, right? And it's, I go to seek a great perhaps. The idea that you go off to find that something special just for you. It's from Looking for Alaska. John Green's a great author, go and check him out. Favorite actor? I'll probably have to say Chris Pratt. He's everywhere at the moment. He's got that right edge of funny and serious. Favorite color? Um, I don't know, proper, I, I've always said red, right? But I, I do like blue on me. I think blue looks good on me. Now music or soft? Now, kind of depends. If it's in the gym, I like a bit of rock, you know, force you through that gym session when you're feeling a bit crap. But I think it's better if it's soft in the evenings when you're with someone. 20, where do you go when you're sad? Now, I'm very lucky that I live in Huddersfield and Huddersfield's got a gorgeous canal. I'm pointing there because it's out of my window. Whenever I'm sad, I either go for a walk on the canal or there's a, a park. I'm nodding that way because the park's that way. There's a park called Greenhead Park that I just walk around and there's a nice little kind of fake lake in the middle with ducks and swans and you can either people watch or ignore people because that's that that depends on the mood you're on right if you're in a oh I, I, I miss someone I'm lonely right then you kind of want to be around people but not be around people and otherwise you can just ignore everyone and you're just on your own depending on how you feel 21 how long does it take you to shower now I've got long hair that's actually tied up hence why I'm called Mr. Harry Brit um, after the gym it can take two or three minutes or I can really lo I do love just kind of saunering in my own gym listening to a podcast I could easily be in there for 20 minutes 22 how long does it take you to get ready in the morning now I'm lucky I work from home so I stagger in from my bedroom into my living room but recently I've started going to the gym every morning so I kind of pre-prep me getting up in the morning so I've got all my gym gear there I stagger in I put that on and I stagger out the door because I, I don't really do mornings. So I'm trying to avoid giving myself an excuse not to do the morning. 23, ever been in a physical fight? Now, I'm not a violent person, right? The only time I've ever been in a fight was when I was at school, right? And that was because unfortunately I'd lost my father, someone took the piss out of my father and I just saw red. But I'm, I'm that way in general. I'd only ever get into a fight for myself or a family member, right? I'm more of that big imposing guy that rocks up and makes you realize that the fight's not worth it because he's either gonna punch you or eat you. Turn on, confidence, I think. If they're confident and they're willing to experiment, it's great. Turn off, hygiene. There is nothing, nothing worse than getting down to it and then, <sighs> Ooh, what's that? 26, the reason I joined YouTube. Now, this was a mix of things. I'm a web developer by day, so I joined onto YouTube to try and learn how YouTube worked, but at the time I was also, in all honesty, suffering from a little bit of depression. So in the long run, it was kind of a way for me to vent, get it out there, therapize myself, <laughs> make some friends, feel a bit better. So yeah. Four years later, I'm still here, so it must be working. 27, fears. Nah, probably being buried alive or dying alone. I'm, I'm very much a people person, even though I'm an introvert. Like, I do like having my friends and knowing they're there when I need them, right? But I also like a little bit of my time alone. So if the world was the end, kind of like I am legend style, and it's just me and the dummies in the, the video store, that would scare me. 28, the last thing that made you cry. In all honesty, it was probably last year. I, after my dad not being around for 15 years, I made a vlog on YouTube. I just sat in a park, recorded myself in a one take, and it was more like me talking to my dad than me talking to my subscribers. And that helped, but it also made me cry a bit. 29, last time you said you loved someone. Now. If my mum counts, then last Tuesday, right? But before that, I'd say a few years now. Yeah, I'll find them. <laughs> I'll hunt you down and I'll make you love me. That sounds creepy, Alan. <laughs> 30, the meaning behind your name. Well, I am a mister, because I've got a dangly thing. I'm hairy, and I'm from Britain. Mr. Hairy Brit. Number 31, last book you read. Now, I don't read books. I read books. I cheat, in a way. For years, 
I never really got into the whole reading thing. I just couldn't, I couldn't, it couldn't click. So last year, last year, the year before that, I went out of my way to start audio booking. And tell you what, it's really helped with stress. I like YA novels and authors like John Green and dystopia kind of stuff. At the moment, I'm listening to Reached, which is part of the Matched trilogy by Ali Condi, or Ali Conti, one of those. Which answers number 32, what book are you currently reading? Reached. Um, um, th yeah. So the last one was, yeah, the second book. Sorry, I've derailed this already. 33, last show you watched. Now, I'll be honest, I've been naughty, and I've been watching some of the, the leaked Orange is the New Black stuff on, like, the interwebs. I do like Orange is the New Black. 34, last person you talk to. Um, either a business client or my best mate, because I speak to my best mate pretty much every day. 35, the relationship between you and the last person you texted. Now, I don't text that often. I think the last person that probably texted me was either a debt collection company or a client. 36, favourite food. I do love, do love some decent chicken wings, right? Nom. 37, a place you'd like to visit. Now, probably... Amsterdam. And no, not for any weird sexual kinky things. I wouldn't mind going to Amsterdam to experience the chilled atmosphere. I'm not a smoker either, right? There is a bench in Amsterdam that I wouldn't mind visiting. And if you're a John Green fan, you know why. 38. Last place you were. Now, if you're not counting the gym this morning, then I visited Leeds the other month. <laughs> I don't travel much. 39. Do you have a crush? Kind of. It's one of those weird, complicated things, right? That step between liking someone and almost crushing on them. I'm kind of there at the moment. 40, last time you kissed someone. Wow. I don't know, a couple of months ago? Yeah. Yeah, I really don't have a love life at the moment. <laughs> 41, last time you was insulted. I make videos on the internet, so probably about three seconds ago. 42, favorite flavor of sweet. Now, I'm a sucker for galaxy chocolate, right? It's just creamier, right? But if it's gonna be like a normal candy sweet, then probably pear drops or uh, rhubarb and custard thingies. 43, what instruments do you play? Um, I'm about as musically gifted as a fart, right? I can't, I could play chopsticks on a keyboard. That's about it. 44, favorite piece of jewelry. Um, that's probably either my tongue bar or my, my like ear piercing. That's, you know, I'm not sure if you can see it, it's a bar. 45, last sport you played? I don't know, a little bit of football. I can't remember honestly the last time I had a proper, proper physical game. I don't know, rugby. I used to play rugby when I was at school. 46, last song you sung? Um. I don't know, I probably had an earworm, right? So it's like, never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down. I hope to God that's now stuck in your head for the rest of the day. 47, favorite chat up line. I would arrange the world and the alphabet to put you and I together. Have you ever used it? Um, no, I, I, that, that's just cheesy. 49, last time you hung out with someone. Um, probably my best mate a couple of days ago. We do regular pool things where I just thrash him at pool and we chat about life and his partner. And finally, number 50, who should answer these questions? Now, I open this up to you. You, you're watching this, right? I'm gonna list all of the questions down below. Go and answer them yourself, right? And go and tag some other friends as well, right? Let's see how many, how many questions you're willing to answer in the comment section down below. Now, while you're down there, leaving a wonderful comment and answering all of these questions, remember, Remember, Sydney's on my channel. Her video and these questions are on my channel. So use the link down below or the video thingy at the end of the video, right, to go and check out her video. You know, maybe subscribe if you're like me. Hello, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Goodbye.